Welcome back to the Tottenham Career Mode. Today, we're starting off the episode with a game against Crystal Palace away at Sellers Park. But as we get into this, I just want to address something. Obviously, as you'd know, James Madison has just signed for Tottenham literally last night. I recorded this episode nearly a week or two ago, so I haven't signed him. But next episode, which hasn't been recorded yet, I will sign him because I already know I'm going to get comments saying that it's meant to be a realistic career mode. And we haven't got Madison at Tottenham, even though he's there. And that keeper as well, that signed for them. But yeah, I, I uh, recorded the first two episodes two weeks ago. So none of the transfers had happened by then. So let me know if you want me to get rid of Eze, bring Madison in and get rid of Raya and bring that new Italian keeper in that Tottenham have signed. Because I can do that. It's up to you. I don't mind though. But I would like to keep Eze. I think he's been pretty good for us. Obviously, he's been cooking the last episode. Hopefully, he can do it in this episode. But yeah, we just got to focus on the games now. We go one nil up here with Jonathan David. Five minutes in. This guy is on fire right now. And he's a great Kane replacement. But it looks like Kane isn't going to leave Tottenham in real life at the moment. Unless he goes to Bayern. So we could have kept him. But you know what? I'm happy with Jonathan David. He's scoring a lot of goals for us. Him and Son are forming up a nice partnership there. Elise in the box here for Crystal Palace. Tries to shoot, but that is a woeful shot. We get it away pretty easily. We can have an attack here. Jonathan David on the ball. Gets his shot off, but does get fouled. And we've got a free kick. We could potentially score off this. Son standing over it. Can he put it into the back of the net? Yuming Son stepping up. And it's hit the wall. That's pretty woeful, that. All right, Palace on an attack here. Mateta into Reedvold, who scored to make it 1-1 here. Why is Reedvold that high up? I swear to God, he's a centre-back. But it's 1-1. I thought we could get a clean sheet this episode, but it's not looking like it so far. David holding the ball up well. Spins, and that's a good save from Gaia to deny us from taking the lead once again. Jonathan David on the ball here. Eze's made the run and he's found him. Eze can get a shot off maybe against Palace's former club. That's a big save from Gaeta again, keeping them in the game so far. Imagine if Eze scored against his former team. The link up between him and David as well down the middle. It looks like we're cooking this season. Ben Tanker on the ball into Eze. Eze with the rainbow flick and the volley. Gaeta gets down. He is actually carrying Crystal Palace right now. We should be like three goals up. Can we score off this corner? Hoiberg. Off the bar. Jesus, I thought he'd saved it again. I'm pretty sure it went off the bar. Son on the ball here, driving into the box. Can Son make a difference? The What a goal from Yunming Son. The little fake shot. The ball roll to put it into the back of the net to make it 2-1. We could have another chance here. Kulusevski into Jonathan David. David gets his shot off and rifles it into the top right corner. 87 minutes in to seal all three points here. And we remain unbeaten in the league so far going into September and Jonathan David is absolutely cooking right now I mean that is a sick finish on that angle I don't know I was celebrating so much because we was already winning but I mean it sealed the three points here at Sellers Park and that might put us top of the table actually depending on the games played but yeah we are absolutely cooking this season and in this game against Palace we deserve the win Gaeta actually carried them it could have been like 6-1 to be fair to us Okay, we've got Burnley up next. I don't think I'm going to play this one. I'm just going to quick sim it because I feel like it should be an easy win. Newly promoted Burnley. And we've won 3-1. Kulusevski, Eze getting two as well. Huge. Here we go then. Crunch time. Well, not crunch time. It's the first round of the Carabao Cup. But of course we get Arsenal. And North London derby. Literally probably the second best team in the league. And we've got them in the first round. And we wanted a chance of winning a trophy this season. The Arsenal dressing rooms. I was once a manager there, as you may remember, earlier on in the year, February, January time. But now we're at Tottenham, away at Arsenal, and we're looking to beat them here and knock them out of the cup. Alright, I've got an attack here, Martin Odegaard, into Emil Smithrow. Smithrow cuts back in, squares it to Granite Xhaka, who gets a shot off, and beats Raya at the front post here to make it 1-0 to Arsenal. And I have gone out with my full strength side, because I want to beat them, and I think they have as well. David on the ball, into Kulusevski, Kulusevski using his pace to fly past Zinchenko, can he score, he just dragged it wide, I thought Kulusevski was about to bag here and make it 1-1, literally 10 minutes before half time, alright, Son on the ball here, it's still 1-0, but we're looking to make chances, he cuts it back, and Rob Holding manages to intercept, I don't know what, why have I done that, Jesus, Oh, for God's sake. Why have I just done a roulette with Langley? He's probably got like six agility and not even a high skill move to do that. For God's sake. 
and they could be in again here. Jesus on the ball. Surely he's off. He looks off there, but he's no, it's 3-0. We're being absolutely destroyed here at Arsenal. Gabriel Jesus doing his celebration. We're being embarrassed. Because, right, I mean, we've got nothing to lose now. Might as well make a sub. Tanganga, Bissouma, Richarlison and Perisic are all coming on here. And I might ring Ndombele on. Yeah, go on, we'll ring Ndombele on. We'll use all five of it for the last 20 minutes. The sub still ain't been made here. And Langley's just took Jesus out. He's not having the best of games because that is probably a red card. Giving away a goal and a red card here, which means he'll be out in a Premier League game because we ain't getting through this now with 10 men. It was such a stupid red card as well. But we could have a chance here. Perisic plays it into Ndombele. Ndombele into Richarlison, who probably gets a consolation goal. 3-1 here. I can't see us coming back, to be honest. And we are out of the Carrow Cup. We've been destroyed by Arsenal, to be fair. To be fair to them, I think we could have had a few chances, that Kulusevski chance. We've got to move on now to the league. West Ham away. We've got to bounce back and get a win here. Declan Rice is still there, even though he's just signed for Arsenal in real life. Skamaka, early chance, four minutes in, and we've already crumbled. We're, we're getting worse and worse in each game. For God's sake, we're 1-0 down here, four minutes in, and Skamaka scored for West Ham. But these bubbles piss off, I swear to God, they're so annoying. All right, they've gone now. A Deutsch on the ball. I don't know what he's doing over there, but he gets it into Eze. Eze gets a shot off and does score to make it 1-1. Don't do your celebration. Go and get the ball because we need to go and get a second. All right, Skamaka on the ball here. Into Lucas Paqueta, who sticks it into the top left corner of the goal to make it 2-1 here to West Ham. We're just getting worse and worse and the bubbles are still there. Skamaka on the ball again into Lucas Paqueta who gets dispossessed but he could bounce back into it. Paqueta gets a shot off but David Raya makes a big save to deny him. Declan Rice gets a shot off now. Raya with another save. Right, we've gone into half time. 2-1 down. We need to bounce back in second half. I want the three points, man. I don't want to lose in the league already. Alright, Kulusevski on the ball. Into Pedro Porro. What can he do from here? Absolutely nothing. Kulusevski again. Can he find Eze once again? Yes, he can. Eze tries to get it into David, but Zuma manages to block it and could get a chance here. Son cuts it back. Jonathan David scores to make it 2-2 in the 69th minute. We've been very poor this game, so I'll take a point here away at West Ham because they have been actually quite a tough side and I didn't expect it. All right, we've got the point here away at West Ham and that's where we're going to end the episode. I'm going to get one out tonight and I'm going to hopefully get two episodes out tomorrow. So I'll see you then. Peace.